coming out here by Venice Beach to go check out the brand Barely Canadian. I'm going to chop it up with Kelly, the founder, uh, possibly make some clothes and, you know, learn about the backstory about the Barely Canadian brand. My name is Kelly Slattery, and I'm the CEO and founder of Barely Canadian. Barely Canadian is a social enterprise company where we create super soft clothing that helps to support foster youth. I'm Canadian, and I am freezing all the time. Even in a California summer, I need summer sweaters, I need summer mittens, so my husband calls me Barely Canadian. As a small business, you have to hustle and hustle and hustle. We are really focused on partnerships. And my business also aligns with the kids that we're trying to help. So I feel like I'm coming with an army when I'm talking to somebody and trying to get them to partner with us. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Nice to meet you. So nice to Raheem. meet you. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, of course. Hi, I'm Raheem Edwards. I'm a soccer player for LA Galaxy, Defender, number 44, and play soccer for a living. It's a blessing. Sometimes you don't really recognize it until you step back sometimes, but yeah, it's a, it's a blessing for sure. Starting off as, you know, as a professional soccer player, your first year towards your eighth year. It's your first year and your eighth year is different. Just as a small business, your first year and your eighth year is different. Regardless if I made it professionally or not, I still wanted to play soccer. I still wanted to challenge myself. So I kept going and kept going and kept going. And lucky enough, I caught my break. So keep trying and you know, you never know your dreams might just fall in your lap. Rahim is a Canadian and I love fellow Canadians. So that's really exciting. I feel like very quickly he's going to become our favorite player. You're a fellow Canadian. Yes, I am. From and Toronto? Toronto, Toronto, exactly. Yeah, Mississauga, so a little bit outside of Toronto. What makes you barely Canadian? Well, you guys are gonna find this funny, I'm hardly home. <laughs> that makes me barely Canadian, but a lot of people don't know that I'm Canadian until like, you know, I tell them. I guess my demeanor and how I act is very American. So yeah. I think that barely Canadian suits me perfectly. Like many of my friends, started a small business during COVID. Just thought I wanna do what I want to do. I don't want to do what people are necessarily telling me to do, which I have very little passion for. We have a nonprofit that we teach foster youth how to create a brand, then that brand that they create, we put on our apparel, but the money goes to them when it sells. That's a great motivator for them. They're not just learning, they have a small business that they can build. For them to you know, give back to foster child, it hits home for me. Not having a father at home, so I, I just I know how it feels, how hard it is. Not having both parents or not having parents at, at all. So yeah, for what they're doing, this is it's awesome. We have two kids that we adopted from foster care. So we got really lucky that our kids selected us and we got to become a family. And in doing so, we had to teach some new skills. I would imagine athletes have a, just a natural business head because you're problem solvers on the field. And so I imagine that you might have some ideas for us. For sure. So we just have a lot of things planned. All right, let's get to it. Yep. Barely Canadian. Let's go, Barely Canadian. Fashion is just a part of me. Like, you just express yourself through clothing. Everything I do from my hats to my shirts and everything, everyone knows me from my hats. Bringing inspiration to someone, that's, that's my main goal. I think he's like a pretty fashionable guy. We might be learning some things from him. I'm a really simple guy, a simple pattern, simple stuff. Every now and then I like to go with bold colors, like, you know, this color right here. The yeah. Of the black trim is it's perfect. Find out what you're good at. It's all about testing yourself and, you know, seeing what you're good at and what you're not good at and go from there. So we make these incredible golf shirts. Oh, one thing about Galaxy, man, there's a lot of guys on the team that love to play golf. When I mean love, I mean love to play golf. So this is a shirt that you must have for sure. I kind of opened up my eyes a bit being a small business. It's about making sure that your brand is always out there and you're always connected with people. Okay, should we try this one? Definitely. Okay. Yeah, okay. let me go change for you and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we take this onesie and we kind of start to convert it into the lunsie that we'd like to design and we'd love your input as an athlete. We have different products called the onesie, the funsie, the sunsie. And we're working on something called the lunsie. They crotch would go where? Where do you think it would be best? As high as possible. For as, sure. high as, possible. as high as possible. Okay, I am a lunging fanatic. Lunging is a power position. It's all about power. It's trying to like build confidence and so sometimes I lunge before I go into a meeting. <laughs> One last question. What do you think about a collar? That's kind of old school sporty. Could be fun, right? Eh? Yeah, for sure. Let's do that. Okay, okay. 100%. Oh my God. We've created a product. Now let's lunge. Let's lunge. Let's go outside and try out this lunge right in the park. Boom, look at this. Watch it flip, watch Power it flip, watch this. Double-sided, double-sided. 
My experience working with Barely Canadian today was very, very thoughtful. I wanted to know what it's like to run a small business. Fashion might be something I want to dabble with, and to see what goes into it was something that I wanted to see firsthand. Oh, nice. You're a lot better than I thought. Uh, I had to get to know. the Canadian view. Just came out from checking out Barely Canadian, checked out some of their products, obviously how they make it and who they do it for. It's been awesome. It's been a learning experience. Happy to be here.